And welcome back, everybody. Let's take a quick look at a time lapse of those clouds kind of pushing through. You'll see some of those rain showers making their way across San Angelo here. And then we are getting some breaks. Clouds can't seem to make up their mind what direction they want to go. They're just kind of going all over the place. Currently, we are sitting with 46 degrees. So quite a bit chilly compared to what we had even a couple days ago. Winds are coming in from the east at about 8 miles per hour, so it's going to make those temperatures feel even cooler than what they are. Most everybody is sitting in the 40s with the exception of Coleman sitting at about 50 degrees right now. The nice thing is, is that even though we are in this cooler pocket that's just kind of sitting around us right now, we're only going to be getting warmer temperatures as we continue getting through our day. Looking at the regional radar satellite, we did have those showers continuing to leave some sprinkles in the area. Some thunder was rolling through a little bit earlier this afternoon, but that's continuing pushing off into the northeast and bringing it a little bit closer so you can see a bit in detail. Like I said, we did have some of those heavier rain showers and thunderstorms coming through earlier this afternoon, but those have continued to push off. And we will have a bit of a clearing as we get into our overnight hours. Now, how much rain did we get? Well, so far we have 2.69 inches total for the month. So we are sitting at about one just under an inch and a quarter above average for this time of year because usually we only get about an inch and a half for the whole month of March so we still have uh, about a week and a half left to go tonight 47 degrees is expected. We will have some overnight heavy fog coming through. It's going to start in at about 11 o'clock tonight, even at midnight, and it'll be sticking around as we get into tomorrow morning. We will have that heavy fog staying until about maybe 9, 10, even 11 o'clock in the morning. Then we'll start to see decreasing clouds a lot warmer than what we have right now. 73 degrees for our high tomorrow. Winds will be fairly calm. And like I said, that's going to continue to decrease as we get through our day, breaking down our day plan. We will see 71 degrees by about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And like I said, those clouds are going to continue to clear up as we get through a day. So we'll start to see plenty of sunshine going through our Sunday. Even, in, like I said, in the morning, we'll have that lower laying fo fog sitting there. And then we will clear up in the afternoon hours. We will start to see some clouds start to make their wind overnight. Sunday into Monday morning, and then we'll see that kind of push off as well. So it's going to be a mix of that rain, uh, sun and clouds. So now we will have a bit of a push of the dry air make its way into our area by Tuesday in the afternoon hours, and then we'll start to see more moisture start to make its way in from the south. Breaking down a seven-day forecast for you. Like I said, AM fog is expected for tomorrow morning, but it's going to feel a lot warmer compared to what we have today. Monday, Tuesday, we're going to be sitting around the 80s, just above or below. Plenty of sunshine for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Thursday, 89 degrees for a high. So it's going to be into almost the 90s for some areas. And then we're going to start to cool off as we get closer to next weekend.